The reason we're going to set up units in 3ds Max and 3ds Max Design is so that we are working consistently throughout the lessons. So when I tell you enter 10 feet, for instance, you enter 10 feet and not 10 millimeters or 10 centimeters. What we're going to do is set up the display units to use architectural units feet with fractional inches. We've chosen this unit setup because it's fairly standard a configuration in architecture and design and will work well for the lessons that we are going to go through. If you do use the metric system, options are available in both the display units and the system units to utilize metric sizes as well. Maintaining standards for a project can make production of that project a little easier because everyone will be starting from the same template file. This template file is named maxstart.max and is loaded whenever you start 3ds Max or reset 3ds Max. It allows you to preload parameters like grid spacing and viewport layouts. We're going to do this primarily for consistency. However, you can always go back to your company standards at a later time without any problem whatsoever. So now let's start 3ds Max or 3ds Max Design and have some fun.